A short time ago, there was a curious kindergarten class who loved to be in nature and explore. Miss Marks saw how much her students enjoyed the outdoors and realized the importance of incorporating it into her teachings. But soon, the weather got colder and they found it harder to try and find someone to help take them out, to, to help take them out on walks into the forest. The students began to yearn for the outdoors and Miss Marks noticed a big change in her students' behaviors. She understood the importance of place and its role in shaping each of their identities, who they are and where they are. She was at a loss and began to search for new ideas. One day, a wise owl named Denise approached Miss Marks. She shared her wisdom about a video creating story workshops. Miss Marks, I am using this story workshop in my class and I've observed wonderful oral language development and improved engagement from my students. Miss Marks gathered materials from her backyard. The following week, she introduced the story workshop to her students. The students were eager to begin, each choosing a bin containing objects from nature and toy animals. The storytelling began. Some students chose to combine their stories while others chose to independently create a story. Miss Marks noticed a change in their behaviors and was pleased with, the, with their engagement and activities throughout the day. She was able to observe students communicating with one another and sharing their thinking. Oh no, the bison has a problem. His bed won't fit in the house. We should have built, it in, we should have built the bed in the house. Wow, great communication. <laughs> the animals have their own homes and the nest is where they keep their food. Each week, the students would spend approximately 45 minutes creating a story. With each passing week, their stories became more elaborate and Miss Marks, no, Miss Marks noticed their storytelling skills developing. After building their stories, the students were excited to draw the story they had just created in their journals. They would stretch their learning by adding all the details and attempting to hear and write prominent sounds to help support their stories. Miss Marks was a very proud teacher and grateful she was able to bring nature and the outdoors into their classroom. Together as a class, they learned that developing an idea and creating a story involves patience and time as highlighted in the First People's Principle of Learning. This inquiry allowed Miss Marks and her students to become more familiar with the power of story and more connected with each other and with a sense of place. That is.